Good day. Today we are going to show you how to perform glass offices. The equipment needed um, depends on the institution that you are in. For most institutions, we have the cadaver bag, which is a nice ziplock bag. So you can just place the body into the bag and zip. Some institutions would have the shroud kit. The shroud kit comes with this plastic sheeting so that you may wrap the body with this plastic sheet. If your institution does not have either of these, then you could go back to the old fashioned way of using a sheet. We're also going to need the four tags. One is to go directly onto the patient's skin, chest area. The other is to go on top after you've dressed the patient on the chest area. The other is for the toe. And one last one goes on top after you have covered the patient, or wrapped the patient, it goes on to that outer wrapping. If you don't have these um, official labels, you can make your own labels stating the name of the patient, the age, the religion, registration number, ward, date of death, and time of death. And now we're going to show you the procedure. To begin the procedure for last offices, we must first remove all the devices that are on the patient, including the IV given set, oxygen therapy, NG tube, or urinary catheter. Once all the devices have been removed, we are now going to give the, the patient a bath. After tidying the patient, we are now going to place her tags. The first name tag will be on her bare chest. And then we're going to continue to dress her, dress the patient. Then we're going to apply the second tag on the chest area on top of the clothing. We're going to tie her toes now with the third tag. We are tying the two big toes together. This is to keep the body in proper alignment. We're going to tie her, um, her chin in order to keep the mouth closed and we're going to uh, place some cotton into the nostrils to prevent or uh, to help with any drainage. A pamper or a diaper was applied was applied to help again with any drainage from the orifices. To align the body, we need to put the arms under or behind the, the body. So we gently raise and we position the hands underneath the body. After the body is placed in alignment, we turn the sheet, the bottom sheet, diagonally so that the four corners are pointed uh, to the four cardinal points. Then we take one corner and cover the patient, tucking the extra end underneath the body. And then the other side, we take up the other point and carry it across the body. Here you can either tuck it under as well 
or you can fold it and tape the, the edges. We're now going to tie a knot at the feet. We're going to leave the face open at this point so that if relatives are present, they can come and view the body and say their last goodbyes. After they have left, we will now cover the head. Tying a knot also at the head. We normally would tape the edges of these sheets in order to properly secure it from coming out. And the last, we're going to put our last name tag on top of the body on the chest area.